Have you ever wondered what it would be like to survive in a city overrun by zombies? Picture this. Claire Redfield, a strong-willed young woman, steps into Raccoon City, her heart filled with worry as she searches for her missing brother, Chris. A member of the Elite Stars team, Chris Redfield's sudden disappearance is as mysterious as the eerie silence enveloping the city. As Claire delves deeper, she stumbles upon a chilling reality. The city, once bustling with life, now echoes with the sounds of the undead. The T-Virus, a deadly creation of the Umbrella Corporation, has transformed the city's residents into horrifying zombies. The streets she once knew are now a stage for a grotesque dance of death. In the midst of this chaos, Claire finds an unexpected companion, a young girl named Sherry Birkin. Silent and scared, Sherry holds on to Claire, her eyes reflecting the horror that has swallowed their world. As Claire navigates the nightmare, she encounters a rookie cop, Leon S. Kennedy. In the chaos, unlikely alliances are formed. We see this in the pairing of Claire Redfield, a determined young woman searching for her brother, and Leon S. Kennedy, a rookie cop thrust into a nightmare on his first day. These two, bound by circumstance and a shared goal of survival, navigate through the zombie-infested Raccoon City, facing unimaginable horrors at every turn. As they venture further into the city's depths, they cross paths with Ada Wong, a woman with her own agenda, adding an extra layer of complexity to their dire situation. Ada's elusive nature stirs suspicion, yet they find themselves reluctantly working together against the monstrous creatures born of the T-Virus. And then there's the revelation of Sherry Birkin's parents' connection to the creation of this catastrophic virus, a shocking twist that ties their fates even more closely together. But as they delve deeper into the city's secrets, the real enemy begins to surface. Behind the horrors lies a tale of treachery and deception. As our protagonists venture deeper into the heart of Raccoon City, the chilling truth begins to unravel. Leon, the naive rookie cop, stumbles upon the clandestine Umbrella Laboratory hidden beneath the city's surface. Here, the sinister purpose of the Umbrella Corporation comes to light. The lab, a veritable Pandora's box of bio-organic nightmares, is the birthplace of the T-Virus and the even more potent G-Virus. The G-Virus, a creation of William Birkin, is a biological agent capable of inducing rapid mutation and monstrous growth in its hosts. It's this very virus that transformed Birkin into the grotesque creature haunting the city's streets and corridors. What once was a man is now a nightmarish beast, a testament to the horrifying capabilities of the G-Virus. But the lab's horrors don't end there. Lurking within its cold, sterile walls is the Tyrant, a bio-organic weapon of unparalleled ferocity. A towering monstrosity, the Tyrant is relentless in its pursuit, its programmed single-mindedness a chilling reminder of Umbrella's remorseless pursuit of power. And then there's Ada Wong. The enigmatic woman Leon encounters is not who she seems. Ada, initially introduced as a worried girlfriend seeking her missing lover, is revealed to be a spy. Her mission is not one of rescue, but retrieval. She's after the G-Virus, but for whom remains a mystery. She weaves a web of deception around Leon, exploiting his naivety and trust to further her shadowy agenda. Leon's journey into the underbelly of Raccoon City is a journey into a world of secrets and lies. Unwittingly, he becomes a pawn in a much larger game, his actions manipulated by those who seek to use the chaos for their own nefarious purposes. In the face of the ultimate betrayal, Leon must confront the unthinkable. As the shadows of deception lift, he must make choices that will not only determine his survival, but also the fate of Raccoon City. The truth is a bitter pill to swallow, but it's a necessary one in the fight against the encroaching dark. In the heart of darkness, heroes are made. Claire Redfield, the brave and determined sister, finds herself face to face with the monstrous transformation of William Burke in a man consumed by his own creation, the G-Virus. The Umbrella Underground Laboratory becomes a battleground, echoing with the roars of the monstrous Birkin and the relentless Tyrant, a bio-organic weapon of terrifying power. Claire's courage never falters, her determination fueled by the need to protect Sherry and escape the doomed city. Meanwhile, Leon S. Kennedy, the rookie cop thrown into a nightmare on his first day, confronts the enigmatic Ada Wong in the lab's dimly lit corridors. Ada. A spy with a mission is fatally wounded in her pursuit of the G-Virus. Leon, despite the revelations and betrayals, finds himself sharing a poignant, heart-wrenching moment with Ada before she seemingly succumbs to her injuries. 
As the clock ticks down, our heroes make their desperate escape from the city on the brink of annihilation. The underground train tears through the darkness, carrying them away from the horror they've endured. The city's impending destruction looms like a shadow, a grim reminder of the devastation caused by Umbrella's reckless experiments. Yet, as the dust settles, a glimmer of hope emerges. In the face of overwhelming odds, Leon and Claire's courage shines bright, illuminating the path to survival and the promise of a new dawn beyond the ruins of Raccoon City. In the aftermath, the future remains uncertain. The city of Raccoon, once bustling with life, now lays in ruins, a chilling reminder of the horrors unleashed by the Umbrella Corporation. Our protagonists, Claire and Leon, though they've escaped the city's confines, carry with them the weight of their experiences. Their paths, intertwined by fate, have led them through unimaginable horrors, and their survival is a testament to their resilience. Yet their triumph over the monstrous creatures and the formidable tyrant is but a hollow victory. The true adversary, the Umbrella Corporation, still looms large. The threat of their bio-organic weapons continues to cast a long and ominous shadow. In a shocking twist, Ada Wong, who was thought to have met her tragic end, is revealed to have survived. The enigmatic spy, with her own hidden agenda, walks away from the wreckage. Her survival hints at a much larger narrative, one that is yet to unfold, leaving us, the players, in eager anticipation of what lies ahead. The fate of Raccoon City serves as a grim warning of the far-reaching consequences of unchecked ambition and greed. The city's downfall is a stark reminder of the potential devastation that bioorganic weapons can cause. As we bid farewell to Leon, Claire, and the city of Raccoon, we are left with a sense of unease. The horrors they faced may be behind them, but the fight is far from over. In the world of Resident Evil, the battle for survival is far from over. <laughs>